Welcome to Strider Trees. In this video, I'm demonstrating a technique that we use pretty frequently in crane work when we're not sure if we can really pick up the whole log, but we've got room to lay it over. One of the things you can do is tip tie with, the shack, with one shackle on the back, and then the crane can allow the whole log to start tipping over, but with a face cut. And so the butt stays intact, and then as he comes down, it pops free, but at no point does the crane have to experience more than half the log's weight. So you can sort of manipulate bigger logs and land them in the backyard and take fewer picks and be done faster and more efficiently. So hopefully you find this useful in your crane tree work, and I'll catch you next time. Sometimes when we're doing crane work, uh, we like to keep a big butt, but we don't have enough capacity to pick it up. This is a monster piece of oak. It was easily 7,000 pounds. And we probably could have just barely picked it up, but we didn't need to. I made a little face cut, and I'm just finishing the cut here. And I have the top of this uh, spar anchored with the shackle opposite the face cut. And what that's gonna allow is for the crane operator to start moving the whole log and tipping it down kind of towards the house where we've got a couple of logs laid across our landing zone. To... So you can see there, he just tipped the thing over uh, and the hinge wood is still intact. Now that that hinge wood's intact, he's gonna be able to lower the tip of that log down and he never has to hold more than half the weight of that log. So even if that were a bigger log, he would still be able to support it. Um, just gotta be ready for that one dynamic moment as the butt drops off about eight inches uh, when the hinge breaks and the unsupported end slides down onto the ground. And you can see it rotate just a smidge and it pops off. So I faced it so that the whole thing would land right on top of our little logs there. So when we go back to bucket, um, we're not sticking our saws in the dirt. It's all supported and up in the air, which saves a lot of time for those of you guys who do a lot of bucking, you guys know. Better not to have it sitting on the ground. Oh, there it is. Now it drops off. Well, hopefully you found that useful. Check out my website, stridetrees.com, for more links and more information in the tree world. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for joining me.